One of the things that you need to be aware of, it's really easy to overlook a piece of hardware that may be corroded in the car, hidden, and there's also some tips to getting hardware out of the car. I've come across a lot of broken hardware in these cars and it's hard and it's tough to get out. But this face of this has to come out of the car to get the lower windshield panel out and to get the cowl side off the car. And right down in this corner, right down here, and that's why you're looking at the other camera up there, because I want you to see that this, it doesn't even look like a screw in here, but it is. And the, the, one of the first things to do to get hardware out of a car is to come in here and make sure you can actually get the screwdriver to get all of the bite it can possibly get. And you want to make sure that screwdriver fits just as well as it can. And there it's, it's too tight and if I continue on with this the first thing that'll happen is strip the head off of there. Here's the tip. It's an easy one. Works really well. Take the acetylene torch. You don't have to go wild on it. You just have to heat the hardware up. Unbelievable. And I know if you've taken very many cars apart, you're thinking to yourself, dang, I probably broke something off like that myself before. Actually, you know the truth? That was my son that gave me the tip on how to get that out of there. The last thing we'll do is take these screws out if they're fighting me the same way. There's screws on the back side. We'll approach them all the same. And one more thing to think about, and I'll show you just as I do it. When they set this panel, they use an adhesive on the back. And if I just warm up that back face with a torch, it'll be very simple to pull it off. So I'll get the rest of the hardware out. We'll heat that up and take it right off. That hardware really does come out easy. If you just take your time to clean it up, use a little heat, it's a super trick. I, I love it myself. Again, this part right here, if you try to take it off the car like this, you're going to ruin that part. So it's going to be requiring heat. When they put it together, they foamed it in. Uh, I like to save them. Now I know right up in here in this car, and look, you can see we're going to do some work here. <laughs> but right in the post, they have a foam in there that has this locked together. And that's what I'm trying to do is warm that up and get it out. You know this won't work on a car that you're trying to save the paint on, but you can use a heat gun, take your time and get the same results. It's just a matter of warming it up to the point where you can start getting the glue to let go. A flat chisel, I'm on the back side, just barely prying on the lip. See it's loose all the way up to the top up here right there where they have that glue in there. You don't want to you don't want to take this point and ruin the back side. And well, 
if you can look down in here with me. This really, other than being locked up down the back, this really was the point that wouldn't come out of the car.